we are happy to introduce two new exciting exhibits from Justin King and Zachary Pateau. When you first walk into Hauska Gallery, you will be greeted by Justin King's cardboard sculptures. If you're an animal lover of any kind, you will love this show. Through a combination of cardboard along with different materials, there's a lot to explore for everyone. So, you know, everything starts off, you know, as the cardboard box and I flatten it out and cut it into strips and then reshape it over basically like a, a silhouette of the animal or whatever I'm creating. And it gets layered and using uh, hot glue. And it was such a surprising medium because you can tell that it's packaging and shipping boxes, but also I've made these intricate forms out of them. And then I paint them wild colors and add different mediums on top of it. I definitely like making animals that have like horns or fangs just because to me it's more exciting. You'll see that I make the gazelle a lot. He's a good size for me to get through the form quickly and start doing what I like to do is explore new finishes. And then, you know, there's animals that I haven't done yet that I'm like itching to get to. Can't wait, I want to do a hippopotamus. It's like the next one that like real big and open mouth and I think it'll be really cool. But, you know, uh, I think my love of animals and plants, botanicals and things like that, you'll see that. But as I go forward with more work, you're gonna see some of the other things that I love show up in the work. So after seeing Justin King's exhibit, as you move upstairs, you will see a new exhibit from St. Louis printmaker Zachary Pateau. My artwork currently on display at Hauska is inspired by the codex language called Polari, which was used by merchant sailors in the 1960s and 70s to talk openly um, in public about uh, the queer community or personal goings-ons that people had um, behind closed doors. Um, and it was a way for them to feel protected. This language has been lost due to just time and the queer community being more accepted in the public eye. So my inspiration behind using this language is to give the language a new life. In the show, you're gonna see combinations of drawing, printmaking, um, there's some photo work being used and playing with veils of ink to allow you to see a word, to not see a word, to conceal the identity of like what the word I'm referencing to to the language is. This language I think allows us to reconnect as a queer community and gives a great sense of pride within our community that we've come a long way, be able to be out and proud, but then also recognize this history that should be recognized. We hope you get a chance to see both these shows. They'll be running through June 18th, and for more information, please visit housegallery.com.